a little guy who's giving me a run for my money. Oh, there's always something wrong with him. But he is still hanging on. Bottle. Come on. Come on. Come on, sir. Oh, everyone wants to come on. So, with this little boy, Buddy, he is one of Mocha's quads. If you remember, Mocha had quads. We lost her little girl, Rosie, when she was five days old. And since that time, she's been racing triplets. And I am trying to record a lot of information that I'm seeing every day because I think that by next kidding I'm gonna have to decide if this is a pattern because she's not a great mother or if this is a pattern because she's not producing enough milk for four kids um, as far as what she's producing, she's always a little bit less than Clara is producing, which I would assume it's enough to feed quads because Clara has done it before. Although there's always one that is falling behind. For the most part, Clara can feed four kids. So I would assume that she has, that Mocha has enough milk if she is almost at the production of her mom, Clara. However, at this point, I am not sure if that is the case. And there's a, a crowd on YouTube that says that if the doe had quads, she should be able to feed them or that she surely have an, has enough to feed them. But in my experience, the first year that Mocha had kids, she had the twins, Guyane Brie. She raised them beautifully. They were big, they were strong, they never struggled, they never had any kind of health issues. Then uh, she had quads last year and I had to keep Toad because he got coccidiosis. His growth was stunned and he just couldn't grow anymore because his intestines are not absorbing the nutrients in food. So he's a very sickly boy. He is by Captain America right there. And you can see that he's barely, and, and Toad is this black one. Captain America was born the first week of March. He's a year and a half old. You can see how much, you know, um, bigger he is, which is not much. And that little boy was born March 1st, and if you compare it to Toad, pretty much the same size. However, I realized that this past winter, the well water, I think, was causing the stripping of copper in him, and that's why he's always had this rough coat. I think that I was giving him his copper, but the iron, I think it, 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 it's what strips that from their body. So taking away all the extra copper that I was giving him with his bolus. So now they are on creek water. I shaved him, and his coat is shiny, it's beautiful, it's growing great. And I think that it was probably the well water that was not letting him absorb all the nutrients. And there's a way that you can add like an RV water filter to make it better. But right now we are just using creek water. And that's been working great. I just add a little bit of apple cider vinegar and that really helps with the overall health. So anyways, I am at that point where I'm trying to see if mocha is not producing enough milk for four kids um, or maybe she's not being a good mother because in this case she was raising triplets since day five after kidding and I have this little boy who's been struggling a lot who's always hungry whose belly is always squishy and is never full and I just I'm starting to think that Mocha will do, will do better with just twins which I cannot control how many babies she has but I can take away a couple of kids if that's the case I would 
really like to experiment next year and see if that makes a difference if the number was the problem or if it's, she's just not really a good mother my suspicion is she's a great mother she really cares about her babies but she gets overwhelmed when there's more than two and she has to stand for longer periods of time until everyone gets a sip of milk so those are just the things that I have to consider and that I have to decide if it's something that I want to continue to do. I think that by next year, um, the fact that quads on a double feeding meeting, meaning uh, a bottle and mom, it's not working great. Uh, they either really love the bottle and they stop pursuing mom, in my case, uh, what I've seen or they just don't take the bottle so i think i'm gonna have to be a little bit more prepared next time and really take away those extra babies at the time of birth maybe just leave them with mom for 24 hours so they get all the colostrum but be on top of on on top of mocha because I just need to really find out what the problem is and why there's always one of the quads falling behind. And in this year's case, I mean, she even lost that one little girl. So there's a lot of things that I need to learn and switch and change and try and decide each kidding season. But by trying to go through all these details and trying to um, examine what really is working and what's not working, it's what is going to help me decide who am I going to keep. The more I milk Athene, the more I realize that she has a very unique udder that I don't have in my herd. The only thing is that I'm trying to see how it develops and how bigger it gets because I don't think she has the most capacious udder right now. And again, she only had twins, so it makes sense that it's not the biggest udder. But I, you know, I just need to keep an eye on that. But as I'm learning what I'm loving about udders and what I'm loving about goats and what I don't really love about goats, that's what is really making me kind of contemplate the idea of selling some of the moms in milk. I've gotten uh, questions online. There was somebody that came to pick up two boys that was wondering if I had a dough in milk. I have a couple of other people that are somewhat related to my son's girlfriend and they wanted two girls too. So in the end, all of this information and all of this data that I'm putting into my paperwork and I'm trying to have a good evaluation of each of the moms and not only how their pregnancy went, how much they needed help at the time of birth, you know, how well they were with the, their copper and all the, the things that they need, but also kind of seeing the motherly part in this, which is very, very important. Now, I'm very confused and I'm I'm on the fence and trying to decide if next year I'm going to pull all the babies from the mom from the moms from one day old. The only thing that is keeping me from doing that next year is the fact that if I need to go away, I can't put any babies with moms and kind of skip the milking. I would have to be 100% committed to milking twice a day from the moment that they give birth. So, a lot of things going through my head a, a lot of possibilities and I'm going to share a video with you guys soon where I am going to explain how I've been comparing one girl to the next and kind of deciding which one is going to stay and which one is going to go um, 